What's up, Parkview kids in the fourth and fifth grade? Merry Christmas. We're learning all about Christmas this month, and so here's what we're saying Christmas is. Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. So let's do that right now. Let's all stand up and celebrate Jesus together.
Hey, you ready for the Christmas photo? I am. I, right. I just keep feeling like we're forgetting something. Kellen! Oh. We gotta have Kellen in the picture. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I got it. What? We'll uh, just leave some space in between us, oh. and then we can put him in later. That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, that should do it, yeah? Okay, here we go. Yeah. One, two, three. Show and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! As you can see, we're ready to celebrate the big day and the entire Christmas season all month long. Yeah, some of us are more ready than others, Brandon. <laughs> that is true. John here has gone above and beyond preparing this year. Yeah, in my opinion, nothing says Merry Christmas and Jesus is born quite like 25,000 twinkling Christmas lights. Wait, wait, there are 25,000 Christmas lights oh, here? Oh yeah, and I'm ready to light them all up and let the Christmas celebration begin! All right, well, I guess uh, without further ado, yeah. uh, do you want me to do a drum roll or something? Oh, that'd be great. Okay, uh, That's half decent. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom! Are they supposed to? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Wait, oh, uh, the plug was up there. Okay, right. ready? Three, okay. two, one. Come on. Three, two, one. Three. Okay. I don't think you're supposed to shake them like that. I don't understand. They were just working earlier. Well, I can picture it in my mind, and it's breathtaking. Oh. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's probably a bad bulb if one goes out and, you know, the whole thing doesn't work. Yeah, I guess I'll just need to check each and every one of them. Oh, good idea. Hey, if you need any help, I'll be here doing the show. I appreciate that. Sure thing. Hey, why don't we do a little quiz? I can't do a quiz. I'm checking the bulbs. Well, I was talking to them. Oh, right. So get ready to challenge your friends, challenge your neighbors, or just challenge yourself. It's time to play How Bright Are Your Lights? Challenge these lights. How bright are your lights? Here's how it works. I'll ask you a holiday-themed trivia question, true, false, and it's up to you to shout out the answer from wherever you are. This machine here will measure all of your responses. Green light for true, red light for false. If most of you get the right answer, I will eat a bite of John's Aunt Margaret's 24-year-old fruitcake. Hey, I was saving that. For what? I don't know. Here we go. First question. <clears throat> Thomas Edison invented electric Christmas tree lights. Is that true or false? Shout out your answers. All right, we got some trues, we got some falses. Where is it gonna land? Uh -huh. All right, time's up. It looks like most of you picked true and the answer is... Oh, can I say, can I say? Uh, sure, go right ahead. The answer is true. He did it in New York City. Correct. <laughs> In 1882, Edison decorated a Christmas tree in New York City with 80 blinking red, white, and blue electric lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now you have to eat the fruitcake. Uh, you gotta yeah. eat the fruitcake. I cake. thought you were testing lights. Right. I... Oh, man. I lost my place. Here we go. Hmm. Next question. <clears throat> Christmas lights can be powered by electric eels. Is that true or false? Shout it out now. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm seeing some things. All right, and time is up, and it looks like most of you said false, and the correct answer is true. You missed that one. The Enoshima Aquarium in Japan powers their Christmas lights with electric eels. And they can produce up to 800 watts of electricity. Whoa! I escaped the cake. That's great. Question three. 20 million pounds of Christmas lights are recycled every year. True or false? You got a guess, John? Uh, don't talk to me. I don't want to lose my place. Okie dokie. Let's hear your answers. Go! Well, they think, oh, okay, and the majority of you think that it is true. 
And the answer is true. <laughs> Over 20 million pounds of lights are shipped to Shijiao, China every year to be recycled into new Christmas lights or other products such as furniture, ornaments, or slippers. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to wear slippers made out of Christmas lights. Yeah, it does seem like a strange thing to make. Yeah. Hey, I thought you didn't want us to talk to you. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Yeah. Oh. No. I like how it stains things. Mm -hmm. I do not want another bite of that, okay? Get this one wrong. Ugh. You're missing out. Last question. In San Diego, California, if lights are kept up past February 2nd, homeowners are subject to jail time. True or false? Well, whoever made these lights deserves jail time. I'm telling you that. <laughs> no! All right, shout out your final answers now. <laughs> okay, time is up. You say it's false, and the answer is false. They don't throw you in jail for keeping your lights up in February, but there is a $250 fine, which I would gladly pay if I could avoid eating this fruitcake. But a deal's a deal. That is not good. Mm. Huh. Thanks for playing, everybody. How's it going, John? <laughs> not well. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, don't talk to John. He's checking Christmas lights. Uh, they're not working for some reason. Wow. He's got a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Over 25,000. Well, why don't you take a break and help me tell today's Bible story? It's the story before the Christmas story. <laughs> why not? Well, then, to the theater. <laughs> There was a priest named Zechariah. I'm a priest, and I've been doing that a long time. <laughs> and his wife, Elizabeth. I'm his wife, and I've been doing that an even longer time. <laughs> they loved and served God faithfully for many years, but had been unable to have children. Oh, dear God. Thank you for the many blessings you've poured out on us. We are truly grateful. Truly grateful. But even though we are now old, we would still like to have a child. I have a rattle and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One day, Zechariah was chosen to go into the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. His job was to burn incense as a way to honor God. Mmm, nothing like the smell of burning incense. <laughs> While he was there, an angel appeared. Zachariah! Ooh! Oh, Stevak! <laughs> I've got this burning ball of sweet smell, and I'm not afraid to use it. Do not be afraid, Zachariah. Hmm? Do not be afraid? <laughs> you disappeared out of nowhere. Who are you anyway? I am Gabriel, and I am here to tell you God has heard your prayers. Oh? Ooh, which prayer are you talking about? The, the, the one about the donkey? He's doing much better now. <laughs> your wife, Elizabeth, will have a child. Say what? It will be a boy, and you must call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you. Mm. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will prepare the way for the Lord. <laughs> oh, come on! We could have a baby, we're too old! <laughs> Who put you up to this? Was it Meshik? I mean, oh, no, maybe it was Ooze. Ooze? <laughs> oh, 
no. I have been sent by God oh. to speak to you and tell you this good news. But because you did not believe my words, you will be unable to speak until after John is born. Zechariah returned home to Elizabeth, still unable to speak. You're saying, I have big news. Oh, really, I do too. I'm gonna have a baby. Oh, oh. You're saying, I know. An angel told me, really? After a few months, or nine, Elizabeth had her baby. You know, all the neighbors think we should call you Zachariah Jr. after your papa. My Aunt Gertrude wanted your name to be Ezekiel. They call you EZ for short. My dad thought it should be Bob. No, John! His name will be John! I know, that's what I told them. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wait, I can talk. I can talk! Yeah! I don't need your flags! Get out of my hands! Once again, God proved he can do anything. Zachariah and Elizabeth were blessed with a child in their old age. A baby who would grow up to be known as John the Baptist. And God had a very special job for John. John would help introduce his cousin, Jesus, to the world, and he would announce God's plan to rescue his people. The end. Or, technically, the beginning. Now that's a way to start off a celebration. God knows how to set the scene for a story. I'll say. Thanks, Kellen. See ya. Catch you later. You know, John, it's amazing when you really think about the fact that there is nothing God can't do. I mean, he can do things that we think are impossible. And there's a reason to celebrate God every day, don't you think? Yes, I do. I'm just celebrating on the inside. Oh, good to hear. Reveal the question. What are some things you celebrate? Oh, well, there's uh, birthdays. Uh, half birthdays, A test days. What's an A test day? You know, when you get an A on a test. Oh. <laughs> Happened twice at my house. My, my sister's really smart. Or it doesn't have to be a day. You can celebrate when you do well at a soccer game or when you finally finish putting away the dishes. Or, or when God does something really amazing in your life. Yeah. Are you really going to check every single box? Well, what else can I do, well, Brandon? Well, I don't know. Have you, did you check to make sure the extension cord was plugged into the wall? <laughs> do you think I'd really check all of these bulbs if I wasn't sure the extension cord wasn't plugged into the wall? <laughs> I'm going to go check the extension cord. <laughs> I forgot to plug in the extension cord. <laughs> So, let's try this again. All right, you want me to do the drum roll? No, 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 that's fine. Don't try so hard. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Wow! Oh. Yes! Wow, these really are amazing! Yep! Yeah. Oh, you haven't seen the half of it. There's more? Oh! Oh, you know, I, I think maybe that's a little too much. Really? Yeah, yeah, maybe just a little. Wow. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll see you next week for a brand new show uh, all about celebrating Christmas. Yeah, I, I hope we'll see you then. My eyes are starting to hurt. Hey guys. So I'm here for the Christmas photo shoot. Guys, John, Brandon. Guess I could do the photos myself. <laughs> all right, here we go in three, two, one. Our Bible verse for this month, Parkview Kids, is the most famous Bible verse of all time. Do you know it? I bet you do. It's John 3.16. I want to read it to you. Here's what it says. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. 
John 3, 16. Our bottom line for this week, Parkview Kids, is this. Celebrate because God can do anything. Even when we personally think something is impossible, we should know that we can celebrate because God can do anything. Anything, anything. We can celebrate knowing that God can do anything. Let's pray, Park for you kids. God, I thank you so much that we can celebrate knowing that you can do anything. Help us to always remember that nothing is impossible for you. We can celebrate knowing that you can do anything. Amen. Amen, Parkview Kids. So let's spend two minutes answering this final question. What can you celebrate? I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Merry Christmas.